Good evening. The call to silence has begun. In order to prepare ourselves for the celebration of the Holy Mystery, all are invited to observe in this moment of prayerful quiet and holy silence. Let's connect to our God, who is among us as we gather in, in his name, and who is within the stillness of our hearts. Good evening, and welcome to this evening's Mass of the Last Supper. I am Tim Pulaski, your commentator for the Mass. The readings will be proclaimed by Lorraine Reeves. Why is this night different from all the other nights? This night is different from other nights because this night our Lenten observance is ending and we begin the Paschal fast so that the joys of Easter Sunday may be attained with uplifted and clear minds. Tonight, tomorrow and Saturday are our three most special days in participation of for Easter. These are days of remembrance, days of recalling what our ancestors did to answer God's call. They are days of prayerful reflection, asking ourselves, what is it that God has done for us in the past? And what do we hope and pray for God will continue to do for us in the future. Why are we gathered in this place tonight? We are gathered in this place tonight because this night begins the sacred Passover. And as we are given eternal nourishment, on this night we are recalled Jesus as our servant leader in washing the feet of his disciples. And we celebrate the last supper, the last meal, the Passover meal Jesus had with his friends on the night before he died. On this night, we also celebrate the great gift of the ministerial priesthood. We gather in profound gratitude for this great love gift from God to us, his very self as our servant leader through his special food and drink. Yeah. 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we know, my brothers and sisters, with a holy Thursday, we begin the Triduum for Easter. On Holy Thursday, we celebrate the ministerial priesthood of um, Jesus founded the priesthood. Jesus founded the Holy Eucharist and Jesus showed us the humble service by the example of washing the feet of his disciples. So as we enter into this triduum, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, we have sinned against you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people. begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the
us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice, knew for all eternity the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord? All the good he has done for me. The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our 
our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaiden. You have loosed my bonds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Una lectura de la primera carta de San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos y hermanas, recibí del Señor lo que también te entregué, que el Señor Jesús, en la noche en que fue entregado, tomó pan y después de haberla dado las gracias, lo rompió y dijo, Este es mi cuerpo que es para ti. Haz esto en mi memoria. De la misma manera también la copa, después de la cena, diciendo, Esta copa es el nuevo pacto en mi sangre. Haz esto tan seguido como lo bebas en memoria de mí. Por cuanto comas este pan y bebas la copa, proclamas la muerte del Señor hasta que Él venga. La palabra del Señor. Te alabamos a Dios. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord.
Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Scariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry, dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter and who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. And Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, and put his garments back on and reclined at table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You have called me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, on Holy Thursday, as I said in the beginning, you know, we celebrate the three anniversaries, the anniversary of the first Holy Mass, second, the anniversary of the institution of the ministerial priesthood in order to perpetuate the Holy Mass. Convey God's forgiveness to repentant sinners and to preach the good news of salvation. And the third thing, the anniversary of Jesus' promulgation of this new commandment the commandment of love. Jesus said, love one another as I loved you. The Gospel of John chapter 13 verse 34. So we celebrate three anniversaries on Holy Thursday. So today's Gospel describes how Jesus transformed the Jewish Passover into the Eucharistic celebration. You know, after washing the feet of his disciples, commanding them to do humble service for each other, 
Jesus concluded the, the ceremony by giving his apostles his own body and blood under the appearance of bread and wine as their spiritual food and drink. So my brothers and sisters, today I want to share with you three points on this Holy Thursday. You know, the first thing, what we heard in today's gospel. It is a challenge for humble service. You know, our celebration of the Holy Eucharist requires that we wash we wash one another's feet, that is, serve one another. Rather, Christ presence in other persons. You know, in practical terms, that means we are to consider their needs as to be as important as our own and to serve their needs without expecting any reward. That's what Jesus showed by the example of the washing his own disciples' feet. So it is a challenge for humble service. Second thing, it is a loving invitation for sacrificing, sacrificial sharing, and self-giving love. You know, let us imitate the self-giving model of Jesus, who shares with us his own body and blood, and who enriches us with his real presence in the Holy Eucharist. It is by sharing our blessings, our talents, our time, our health, our wealth with others that become true disciples of Christ and obey his new commandment that Jesus gave us. Love one another as I loved you. And the third point, it is an invitation to become Christ bearers and Christ conveyors. You know, when the Mass is going to end, you know, the priest says, Go forth, Mass is ended. You know what that really means? It means you have to go out, go in peace to love and serve one another. Yes, that is the essential. Now, when we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, we get strength and go out to serve one another. That is essential. It is that simple. You know, the Mass is the source and the summit of our faith. The Holy Eucharist is the source and summit of our faith. But the soul of our faith is service. Simple kindness. So in this time of challenging period, in this time of, uh, of uh, social distancing, you know, we are forced to do what Jesus desires us to do. We are serving one another with, the, with distancing, washing our feet, washing our hands, using mask, and genuine human concern. You know, Jesus said in today's gospel, do this, which means serve one another. Let us serve one another with the social distancing. Taking care of ourselves when the last coronavirus gem had died in the summer sun. Will we still serve one another? And also my brothers and sisters, today that Jesus instituted 
the priesthood. We all have to pray for priests, for their holiness, for their dedicated service to our church and to our community. So let us pray for all the priests and our bishops in our Catholic Church, especially in a very special way. Let us pray for all the priests in our diocese and our bishops, Bishop Edward Weisenberger and Bishop Gerald Kikanas and all our priests. So let us be grateful and thankful for the gift of the Holy Eucharist. Even though we can part assembled today for this important time, let us pray for the whole humanity and let us do that service for each other. Amen. Amen. Please stand. <coughs> Let us do the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This evening, we, the community of God, and all those engaged in our parish ministries, will also renew our commitments to the servant leadership and loving service in the renewal ceremony that now follows. As your ministry is called, you will be asked to stand and remain standing through the whole rite. Since you cannot be present, those of us here will stand in proxy. If you are involved in a ministry watching from home, please stand as your ministry is mentioned. Dear brothers and sisters, today I celebrate the memory of the first Holy Eucharist at which our Lord Jesus Christ shared with his apostles and with us his call to the service of his church. At ordination, I accepted the responsibility of the priesthood out of love for the Lord Jesus and his church. I am resolved on this Holy Thursday evening to unite myself more closely to Christ and to be faithful minister of the, of the mysteries of God. I am resolved to imitate Christ, the head and shepherd of the church, by teaching the faith without thinking on of my own profit, solely 
for the well-being of the people I am sent to serve. Lorraine Reeves, you are representing our parish staff and our whole volunteers. My dear people, to you is entrusted the Christian care of the parish and its people. In imitation of Christ, our servant leader, are you resolved to full, fulfill your call in the spirit of love selflessness and devotion we are members of our parish board members of our parish council finance council and all the groups activities in our parish you are representing all of them are you resolved as servants to our brothers and sisters in a worthily continue exercising your ministry of loving service? We are. You are representing all our parish members and all our community. All the baptized parishioners, members of our assembly, including those to be baptized, ministers of everyday life. My dear people, in baptism, you were incorporated into the priesthood of Christ and through the Eucharist, our food from heaven. We are to imitate Christ our Lord. Are you now resolved to bind and model yourselves more closely to Christ, our servant leader, through his presence, his word, community and sacraments, and his presence in your daily call to loving service? We are. My brothers and sisters, may the Lord continue to bless us with holiness and strength so that we may grow in loving service to, of Him and His holy people. Pray that we may become more like our High Priest and our Good Shepherd, the Teacher and the Servant of all and be a genuine sign of Christ's loving presence in the midst of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tonight, the holy oils that were blessed will be received into our own parish in the rite of reception of holy oils. At this time, myself will present the oil of the sick, Bobby Arbizu will present the oils of the catechumens, and Lorraine Reeves will present the oils of charism. Our response will be, Blessed be God forever. 
this oil of the sick has been blessed by our bishop to be used for the healing of body, mind and soul. May the faithful who are anointed with this oil of the sick experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love in God's name. Blessed be God forever. This oil of catechumens has been blessed by our bishop for anointing of those who are preparing for baptism. Through this anointing, they are strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms as they prepare for the saving waters of baptism. Through the anointing of this oil, may our catechumens who are preparing to receive the saving waters of baptism be strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms. In God's name we pray. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. This holy chrism, a mixture of olive oil and perfume, has been consecrated by our bishop and the priests of our diocese. It will be used to attain infants after baptism. Those who are to be confirmed, bishops, priests, and their ordination, and the altars and the churches at the time of their dedication. Through the anointing with this perfumed chrism, may children and adults who are baptized and confirmed, and priests and bishops who are ordained, experience the gracious gift of the Holy Spirit. In God's name we pray. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Our response to tonight's intercessions is, you are the living bread from heaven. You are the living bread from heaven. For the church, the household of faith redeemed by the blood of the lamb, may it celebrate this triduum as a festival of deliverance and new life, we pray. In you God's are the living name, bread from pray. heaven. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son May God ex execute judgment on false gods and power and greed, we pray. You are, you are the, the living bread, bread from, from heaven. heaven. For those about to be baptized into Christ's Paschal mystery, may their washing in those saving waters give them the full share with Christ, we pray. You are the living bread, bread from, from heaven. heaven. For the sick and the homebound of this community, and for those who take the Eucharist to them. May their communion with, with us in Christ be a source of healing and strength, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. 
for those who minister in the works of charity and the outreach in this community, that we may reflect Christ's example of humility and loving service. May Christ's gift of the Eucharist sustain us all in our love to others, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. For those ordained to preside at the altar of Christ's sacrifice and supper, that they grow in lives of service and love as they celebrate in these mysteries, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. For all of us gathered in the remembrance of Christ to proclaim his death until he comes, may our joy and hope be in Christ who loves his own in this world and who will love us to the end, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. For all our petitions presented, for those who are ill and for those who have lives that are interrupted by violence and war, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. For all those who have died, for all that are listed in our bulletin and for all the intentions of the parish, may they come to share the fullness in Christ's Paschal mystery, we pray. You are the living bread from heaven. Please be seated.
pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of, glory of his, his name. name. For, for our, our good, good and good of, of his all holy his church. holy church. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, and just. just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial, as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayers and petitions through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, this holy and unblemished sacrifice, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember your servants, O Lord, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we, we venerate, 
especially the glorious ever virgin mary the mother of our god and lord jesus christ and blessed saint joseph her spouse you are blessed apostles and martyrs peter and paul andrew james john thomas james philip bartholomew matthew simon and jude linus and cletus clement and sixtus cornelius and cyprian lawrence chrysogonus john and paul cosmos and damian and all your saints we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help therefore lord we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service that your whole family which we make you, make to you as we observe the day on which our lord jesus christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen be pleased o lord we pray to bless acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved son our lord jesus christ on the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today he took bread in this holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven and to you o god his almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended Jesus took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion 
the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your son our Lord we your servants and your holy people offer to your glorious majesty from the gift that you have given us this pure victim this holy victim this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation be pleased to look upon these offerings and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek a holy sacrifice a spotless victim in humble prayers we ask you Almighty Almighty God command that these gifts be born by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through the participation at the altar receive the most holy and body of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing remember also Lord your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace grant them O Lord we pray all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment light and peace To us also your servant who through who those sinners hope to your hope in your abundant mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist Stephen Matthias Barnabas Ignatius Alexander Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our, our merits, but granting us your pardon through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Cordero de Dios, Cordero de Dios, que quinta se pelcado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios, Cordero de Dios, que quinta se el pecado del mundo. Ten piedad de nosotros, Cordero de Dios, Cordero de Dios, que quinta se precado del mundo. Danos la paz, danos la paz, danos la paz. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us, receive it. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you again.
Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please kneel. Having shared the Last Supper with Jesus and his closest friends, we now join him as he leaves the upper room and goes to the Garden of Gethsemane. He asks us to watch and pray with him. All here present are asked to enter deeply into prayerful and respectful awareness of God's presence. Tonight's liturgy does not end here. It continues beyond the church doors. Through our reverent journey with the Blessed Sacrament to the Altar of Repose to the Rectory Chapel. Please give our Eucharistic Lord and your neighbor the utmost respect by obtaining and maintaining 
the quiet reverence of the ceremony in the church. Raise your voices in song, be still, and know that God is asking us to watch and pray. Thank you. 
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, when you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me.